what's going on everybody your favorite family friendly youtuber here and today we're gonna be taking a look at a bunch of world war ii countries and putting them in a tier list and seeing which one comes out on top now real quick i would like to thank one of my mods uh killer he is a rue he actually picked out all these countries and gave me a lot of background information so i could accurately decide who goes where so a shout out to killer thank you for all the help now before we get into this video I first just want to say I got a bunch of new t-shirts in the shop all the t-shirts have this text on it and it says rabbit so you're not getting a t-shirt that just says like lettuce on it or something like that they all say rabbit links to these will be down below in the description and if you do buy one of these during a live stream your name will pop up so that way everybody can see you and admire your greatness and I will then proceed to comment on how you have such a huge wang so with all that said let's go ahead and get into this tier list so we have a bunch of different tiers we got back-to-back -back world war champs we got S tier, A, B, C, D, and Scrubs. Now the countries we're going to be taking a look at are going to be Germany, Japan, Italy, Finland, Romania, Hungary. Now that's going to be for the Axis side. Now for the winners, we got the UK, France, USA, Soviet Union, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and India. We got a good roster of people, so let's decide on who goes where. All right, so to start it off, we're going to start off with uh, Nazi Germany. Now, they did almost conquer all of Europe, and that's pretty badass. One country in the middle of all of it almost took over everything. That gets some serious badass points. And also, in my opinion, they did have some of the snappiest looking uniforms out of every country. Like, I'm not gonna lie, if Germany just didn't want to go to war and they just continued to make cool uniforms and stuff, that would be pretty dope. And also, they had some of the coolest tanks, weapons, and aircraft imaginable, mainly the uh, Car 98K. But with all that cool stuff, there was a downside. Uh... They did kill a lot of Jews, like a lot, and that's not cool. So we got to deduct some points for gassing a lot of Jews, but they also made a, a legendary tank, the mouse tank. This thing was a behemoth of a tank. Now, unfortunately, didn't really get to see any real, you know, use, but it was still a pretty big fucking tank. And if I know anything about tanks, it's that the bigger they are, the heavier they are, the more it's probably not going to be used. So all in all, um, I'm thinking we should probably put Germany in A rank. They did almost take over all of Europe, had some cool looking uniforms, but they gassed a lot of Jews and that's not really cool. So I think we should just throw them at A rank and, you know, just move on to the next one. Next up, we got Japan, the other bad guy of World War II. Now Japan did something very similar to Nazi Germany. They conquered a lot before, you know, the big bad USA had to come in there. They conquered a lot of Asia. And they raped a lot of people. Like a lot. Like when it comes to war crimes of World War II, honestly, Japan is probably higher than Nazi Germany. That's how fucked up Japan was. Like, dude, seriously, you look at Japan now and it's all cutesy anime and hentai titties. You look back to Japan during World War II, it was bayoneting babies and raping lots of Chinese women. So that's not very nice of Japan. Gonna have to deduct some uh, serious points on that for the rape of Nan King. That wasn't very nice. But counter argument, the zero towards the beginning of the war was awesome, all right? It was ruling everything. Towards, you know, the second half, it kind of didn't. And kamikaze attacks are just pretty much stupid and pointless. So gonna have to deduct some more points off of that. And uh, lastly, they got dunked on with two nukes all right they got hiroshima and nagasaki that's awesome all right so that gets them up a couple points so where does japan last in all this i'm feeling japan gets a b rank mainly because they they committed a lot of war crimes like like seriously go look it up like they, they did a lot of bad stuff so the only reason they're not on the scrubs category is because they got dunked on uh twice so we're gonna give them a b rank all right next up is going to be the pizzeria it's gonna be italy now, Italy really didn't do much during World War II. They had shitty everything. Shitty guns, shitty tanks, shitty soldiers. They were pretty much pointless, especially in Africa. They, they, Italy was just, they were bad, all right? And they also, they changed sides. Like, come on, that's not very cool. Like, you gotta stick with your pals, all right? You lined up with Nazi Germany at the beginning. You gotta stay with them. They're your buddy. It's not very cool to turn on your pals, all right? I don't care who your pal is. You don't betray your friends. That's not very cool. So for Italy, because they backstabbed their buddy, I'm gonna give them the scrub rank. They didn't really do much during the war, and they changed sides. That's not cool. Next up is going to be the lovely country of Finland. Now, Finland 
is pretty badass. In case you guys don't know about the Winter War, Finland fucked up a lot of Russians, all right? They were, they were kicking Russia's ass in the Winter War. Russia thought, oh shit, I'm gonna come in here and fuck up these Finns. And the Finns were like, no, we got skis and one badass sniper. We're gonna fuck you up. And that sniper killed like a lot of Rus like hundreds and hundreds of Russians. The White Death was awesome. So you have a lot of Finns skiing around and killing a lot of Russians. That's pretty badass in my opinion. Also, they made the Samoy, the precursor to the PPSH. That's even more badass. So Finland, an all right place in my book. They get S rank because they held off the Soviet Union for a pretty long, the Soviet Union was just like, oh, I'm just gonna waltz on into Finland. They didn't, all right? They got skied, molotoved, and Samoyed, all right? So they get S rank. Next two countries are kind of like the miscellaneous countries because they were mainly useless. The only good part about Romania uh, was that they had oil and that's the whole reason Germany kind of wanted Romania was because of them oil fields. Like if you put today's USA back in World War II, we would be the one conquering Romania because that's how much oil they had. So the Nazis desperately needed that oil from Romania. So Romania was like, well, fuck, we can't do much. So we might as well, you know, it's better than being invaded by them. So Romania, kind of useless. They're going to get a C rank. At least they provided some effort to help. They gave a lot of oil, and that's, I, I guess, all right. But next up uh, was going to be Hungary. Now, Hungary, again, was kind of, they didn't really do much during the war. That's why people really don't, you know, recognize that they were on the Axis side. But they were the first kind of, like, minor nation to join the bad guys. And really, they were kind of just Nazi Germany's bitch that's the best way to describe it. And that's not cool. Being someone else's bitch, not A-OK -okay in my book. So they're gonna go with the D. At least they didn't, you know, stab Nazi Germany in the back. You know, at least they weren't Italy. So uh, they, they're gonna get a D rank. All right, so now we're going from the Monstars to the good guys, and we're gonna start off with the UK. The UK, all right, I give you guys a lot of shit, all right? You know, because you ain't got a bloody license for that. But back in the day, UK, back in World War II, the UK was pretty badass, all right? They weren't like the Irish, you neutral bastards. The UK basically was, at the beginning of the war, they were pretty much just fighting the Nazis by themselves because France was useless, and they were getting bombed to shit. Like, a lot of bombs in your butt. A lot. And until, really, the Soviets were able to do anything, it was pretty much just the UK fighting Nazis, and that's awesome. But they also used a lot of US supplies and had to wait for the US to come to the raid. That's not very cool. So you're not going to get back-to-back. -back. Even though you are back-to-back -back world champs, you're not going to get it. Because you did kind of get your ass raped at the beginning, all right? Even though you held your ground and you did an awesome job, you guys are going to get S rank, all right? You ain't going to get the champs, but I will allow you to get S rank because you guys did fight off the Nazis for a pretty long time. All right. Next up, we got France. What the fuck do we do with France? They're gonna get scrubs, all right? Because you surrendered. That's not very cool of you. So France is getting bottom tier. All right, next up, we got the fucking USA. Does this one even need to be explained where we're putting this? Let's just go ahead and put this exactly where we fucking belong, baby. Back-to-back -back world champs, am I right? So we were pretty cool because we won the, the war in the Pacific, all right? We, we fucked the Japanese, all right? Right in their butts, okay? We not only fucked the Japanese, we bombed the shit out of Germany. Like, we, we threw a lot of bombs over there, too, all right? We also had the Sherman, which was argu arguably, I'm not saying it was, arguably one of the best tanks of the war. And also, we dunked on Japan with not one, but two damn nukes, so we definitely deserve back-to-back -back World War champs. Next up on the list is going to be Mother Russia, the Soviet Union. Now, the Soviet Union did defeat the Nazis, all right? They did do that. They used the good old-fashioned tactic of the enemy has to reload. So just send everybody. When they die, the enemy's gonna reload, and we'll send a bunch more. That was a genius tactic. How did nobody ever think of that? So all they had to do was just keep sending millions of Soviets to die, and eventually Germany's gonna run out of stuff. And wouldn't you believe it, goddammit, that tactic worked. 
After millions and millions of Soviet deaths, they were able to make a comeback at Stalingrad and push the Nazis all the way back to Berlin. That's pretty cool. But the Soviets were also commies, and that's no bueno. We don't like commies here. So that's some serious point deductions, uh, if you ask me right there. And also, they committed a lot of war crimes too. I feel like that's kind of swept under the rug, but the Soviets committed a lot of war crimes as well. They also relied on the US for a lot of support as well through the beginning of the war. And uh, Stalin also killed a lot of his own people, so that's not really that cool either, I'm not gonna lie. They, but they did have some cool tanks, I guess. And they did make the PPSH even though it was kind of stolen from the Finns, so... Overall, I mean, the Soviets did defeat the Nazis, but they also did a lot of other fucked up shit and they're communist. So I'm gonna give them, I'm feeling an A rank will make them equal with the Nazis, I guess, because they did kill a lot of their own people, too. Next up is going to be Canada da da da, the Leafs, the maple syrup. Now, Canada was alright. You know, they were in D-Day, um, and also apparently the Rue killer, he said that they, uh, made an APC called the Kangaroo. If that's true, I feel like that's fucking hilarious. And, uh, they basically just, you know, used everything that the U.S. had, and that was about it. That's pretty much all the Leafs did in World War II, so that was alright. I mean, they didn't really do much, but they didn't, you know, they weren't committing any war crimes. So I guess we could put them smack dab in the middle at B. Next up, we have the Roos. Australia. Now, Australia, they did do a lot in, in you know, Africa. I'll, I'll give them that. They, they did do that. That was, like, kind of, like, their second home. They were used to the heat and everything, so, you know, Africa just feels like home to them. They also were really the only kind of help we had in the Pacific, not gonna lie. Everybody else, you know, besides, you know, Britain was kind of helping in the Pacific a little bit. So was, you know, India. But other than that, it was really only Australia that was doing much. And also the U.S. would send some of its troops uh, to Australia for, like, you know, some relaxation time. And uh, we fucked a lot of Aussie women there. So that's pretty cool of you guys. So I'm feeling Australia is going to get a B rank as well. Mainly because they made the, a tank that has a penis on it. I'm not shitting you. It, it has a penis on it. Just, just look. So Australia, I'm feeling like you're gonna get a B rank. You know, you're not up there committing war crimes with uh, the Soviet Union, but you also, I don't think you should be, you know, behind the leaps. So I'm gonna give you a B rank. Next up, we have New Zealand. And honestly, for the longest time, I had no idea where New Zealand was on the map. Um, they really didn't do much besides invent the greatest tank of all time, the Bob Simple Tank. This is without a doubt the strongest and only undefeated. It's the greatest, like if you were to put this up against a Tiger, this thing would win. Look how fucking amazing this tank is. If you were to deploy this thing nowadays, I still don't think there could be one tank that could defeat it. So, all because New Zealand made this tank, they're gonna get an S rank because this is just an unstoppable behemoth of a tank. Lastly, we have India, a little unknown uh, country during World War II. India was a part of the good guys, well, some of India. There, there were a couple, you know, Indians who fought with the Nazis and the Japanese. We won't speak of that, but that is not any brownie points for you guys. Um, India fought the Japanese. Uh, Gandhi was there doing stuff. Uh, um... Yeah, that, that's really about it. I mean, they did stuff, but nothing noteworthy. They weren't getting dunked on with nukes. They weren't committing war crimes. They, you know, they weren't kicking the Nazis' ass. They weren't, you know, destroying the Japanese, really. So I'm going to give India a C rank. I don't think you guys deserve to be ahead of Japan or Australia. So I'll, I'll give you guys a C, I guess. I don't know. Also, whoa, I don't even think you guys deserve a C because you guys have T-Series, all right? And T-Series is not cool. You guys are gonna get the. You guys are gonna move down to a D rank. So I think that's a pretty good, uh, solid list we got going on here. We of course have the U.S. at back-to-back -back World War champs. Next up, we got the Finns at S rank. We got the U.K. at S rank. We also have New Zealand because of that amazing tank. For A rank, we got the Nazis and the Soviets. For B rank, we got Hiroshima and Nagasaki. We got the Leafs, and we also have Australia. For C and D, we have a bunch of miscellaneous countries. Uh, for the scrubs, we have Italy and France. So I think this is an amazing list. It's totally not biased in any possible way at all. And if you guys have a better tier list, let me know down below in the comments. And really don't take this video seriously. It's all just for jokes. 
But all the stuff I did say was true, but the ranking is just, just for jokes. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys would like to see more videos similar to this one, make sure you guys leave a like. Also, t-shirt shop, check it out. Link's down below. Also, my lovely Patreon supporters are better than you guys. Shout out to these guys. Uh, I get demonetized a lot, surprisingly, and these guys help me, uh, you know, pay the bills and feed myself. Uh. So shout out to these amazing people. If it wasn't, so shout out. So shout out to these amazing people. If you guys would like to be one, link is right down there below in the description. Also down there is my Twitter. Uh, follow me on that. Instagram, that too. Twitch, I stream other things over there. And the Discord if you want to talk to me. That's all. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.